Hi, it's time for the math. Easy solutions, guys. A quick video on the substitution function in Microsoft Excel. I'm going over this because it's uh, really useful. I actually had to use it a, a while ago and it was uh, saved me a lot of time. Basically, if we have random text right here, I, they're all the same. It just says AAA, then a bunch of dashes, and AAA here. Let's say you want to replace AAA with BBB or like every instance that has a consecutive three A's with with three B's you could use the substitute function you could uh, basically click this icon or you can type substitute so if I click this I go over here substitute so basically it the way it works is you you put uh, the text here you want to replace or the reference to it so in this case we'll just click this left one here now the old text we want to replace is just AAA and now uh, yeah basically it's like that and then now the new text is the text we want to replace it with so we just write BBB and yeah, again remember to put these quotation marks right here and it shows you again what's going to happen see all the B's are going to replace and the in instance number it specifies which occurrence of the uh, of this text gets replaced if you don't put anything inside it will replace every instance but if you do it will count this is one this is gonna be the second and then the third is gonna be like right over here I'll show you what I mean so for if I just leave it blank so it has all of them so it goes from the first uh, instance which is AAA right here and the second one so this gets replaced and now the third one is over here because this one's only two A's right there so now if we copy this the same thing over here just copy that down. Uh, these are all the same formulas, uh, so that's with that's without anything in the, the current. But if I put, let's say here, just go to comma, let's go to the first instance only. So just the first instance. Now if I go with the second instance, and again there's a B B B over there, and then this one hasn't been replaced. Now if we go to the third one, this is a interesting one right here. The third one's actually in between because it, it counts, it doesn't ignore once it counts, it doesn't skip over to the next letters. For example, this is one, this is two, and then three go, starts from this letter here, four would start also from here. So if we go to four, it should be as expected, and that's over here. Now five should be this because there is only going to be two here when you go to the next one. So let's go to five right over here. Yeah, so here, there is five right there. So this is pretty good if you have a lot of data and you wanted to basically replace some text uh, or something's been changed, whatever your in your Excel sheet is. Uh, this this is a, a great way to just replace it quickly and it'll, it could save you a lot of hours. Save me a lot of hours. I was doing some random stuff uh, with some data a while ago. Anyways, that's all for today. Hope you learned from this video and uh, thanks for watching and stay tuned for another math easy solution.